<laughs> Ceiling fan. Pretend that there's an intro and you hear an explosion and squid tart sports and the Juwan Jennings catch. Pretend that's all there. Too lazy to edit it in right now. So, good, uh, good Sunday afternoon. Another one of these fancy Sunday afternoons where we get to either wake up in pure bliss of our team's success for the week or wake up in pure agony. And luckily for us, we have yet to feel that. Best start on, uh, this is the best start for, um, you know, believe it or not, 3-0 Tennessee is. 3-0. Best start I've had on YouTube, believe it or not. Because, uh, I mean, you go back to when I started in December of 2016. By that, so by that point, it was too late. 2017, 2018 was when I started making videos and like about this stuff. 2019 and 2020... In 2021, where we lost to uh, them. And then 2022, we have finally managed to go 3 0. So you can imagine I'm waking up in pretty high spirits today, especially knowing who our next opponent is. <sighs> Scheduled execution date September 24th. And you most bet Squid Tart is going to have a front row seat for that one. Well, uh, week three's over with. All the games are done. Well, at least all the ones that are worth my time. Uh, well, all football games are worth everyone's time. Point being, 50 games I covered. All, most of them Power 5, unless if uh, it was a group of five team that I covered in my predictions. I went 40 and 10. Out of 50 games. 40 and 10. Not a bad record, I'd say. On top of that, my uh, all-time record, including uh, this week, and then all the previous weeks before that, including week zero, current record, 125 and 35. That is my record. So, I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost guaranteeing that by the time this uh, season does come to a close, or at least the regular season, uh, no matter how good it is for us, it's it's probably going to mean I'm going to have over 100 losses on the regard, 100 games that I picked wrong. But let's roll through here real quick and uh, see where... where uh... I'm not going to cover the games where I was right. I mean, there were some ones here that I mean we already knew uh, I was right on. Uh, so... So much I was wrong on, the first one being the obvious. I knew I was going to at least have one L because Nebraska at the regular uh before the season began, I thought Nebraska was really going to shine out this season. Um it never in my mind would would I have thought that it would have been uh you you start out one and three and and completely die. You fire Scott Frost, everything just falls off. This is what happens when you put faith in programs that you know for the past years have pretty much let you down every time. Uh, Nebraska being one of them. And I had to listen to all of the, oh, Nebraska's back. Nebraska's back. And this time I bought into it. And look where it got me. Look where it got me. It made me look like a complete moron. And I almost guarantee that uh, at least three or four times uh, this year, uh, three or four more times I'll be seeing uh, Nebraska in the uh, the red section for where I got their game wrong. Had them going eight and four. I'll be lucky to go two and ten with the schedule that they've got. And if they can't beat Georgia Southern, you almost bet and guarantee that they can't beat teams like Minnesota and uh, Purdue and Wisconsin. And yeah, they're going to get slaughtered in conference play. So nothing else to say there. Um... Most of these other games, I'm not shocked I'm picked wrong. The next one I got wrong, Northwestern, who Nebraska lost to, lost to Southern Illinois. Really kind of threw a lot of people off. I'm sure everyone got that wrong. It wasn't just me. I mean, of course, we all expected a few upsets, just not really in that game because nobody really had the patience to pay attention to it. Um, this one's shocking. The next one on the list, uh, Purdue uh, against Syracuse. Now, I knew... 
I, I knew this game was going to be closer than what I thought, but I did think Purdue. I mean, I had a lot of hope in uh, this year's Purdue team, but they, after losing to Syracuse, I mean, they started out, they're, 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 what, one and two? That's bad. That's terrible. They have got to uh, figure stuff. They got to figure some stuff out immediately. Um, if, if you can't beat Syracuse now, give credit to Syracuse. They're a much better team than last year, and uh, hell, you know they're three and zero right now. Uh, two big wins over uh, both Louisville and Purdue, and yes, in Syracuse standards, those are big wins. I doubt they'll end up in the uh, the actual AP poll. I put them in my top twenty five though, so. I want, I'm keeping close eye on uh, Syracuse this season. But uh, anyway, Purdue, you really let me down. I still think Wisconsin, actually, I don't know. Both Wisconsin and Purdue right now are just well overrated, in my opinion. Uh, they let me down. Uh, Wisconsin already has that big loss to Washington State. Now, it, of course, it is in the... Uh, it's in the uh, non-conference, so they can still run the table in the division and the and uh, division and conference play and, and be fine from this point onward. But you know, again, that offense is just completely questionable. Looked good uh, last week, but you played a, a like doo doo uh, East, so I don't really, I don't really know. I don't really know where this is going to land for Purdue uh, at least, but. Jeff Brom, a few questions coming up, and uh, you best expect that if he doesn't start winning more of these games, that he may be on the hot seat. I don't know. Hmm. I really don't know. Scrolling through a couple of other of these games, most of them I did get right. Uh, Virginia beat Old Dominion. Some people thought uh, Old Dominion was really going to come out clutch in that one. Come on. Notre Dame winning on a... Uh, Failed Hail Mary by Cal. Uh, and, of course, again, I knew the game was going to be close. And now we're back to the OG Notre Dame syndrome, where Notre Dame barely squeezes by mediocre opponents, no matter how good or bad they are. Except the difference here is Notre Dame themselves is mediocre. So now they actually get to play down to their competition. It's fantastic. But of course, uh, they run the table, go 10 and 2. You best bet that we're going to have to hear about how Notre Dame is back and God, they're, they're going to find a way to sneak them into the playoffs. I, I hope not. You know, that loss to Marshall, they're going to find a way to be like, oh, that was just a fluke. That was just a fluke. Hey, watch it play Alabama. You'll, you'll see what I mean. That was just a fluke. They're going to go play Alabama close and then they'll lose by 46 points. So. <sighs> Enough of that. Tulane, undefeated right now against Kansas State, who was 2-0, uh, beat Mizzou. And, uh, you know, this isn't the first time I've seen a team, uh, a Power 5 team, beat an SEC team and then go on to lose against a Group of 5 team. Western Michigan ring a bell. Congratulations to Pitt, by the way. You all did manage to beat them. Give you credit where, credit where it's due. Anyway... Uh, yeah, Kansas State lost to uh, Tulane. Uh, nothing else to say there. I mean, I got the game wrong, but give credit to the uh, the Green Wave. And this one actually played out in my favor. Uh, BYU against Oregon. So I picked Oregon to win because that's what I had in my predictions. You know the drill. Um, I, I really thought BYU was going to come out and clutch those. So I thought I was going to see this game listed in red by the time that this is over. But no. It's in the green section today. Uh, Oregon came out clutch. Not only that, but they just beat the crap out of BYU. Um, don't tell me that Baylor game was a fluke. Because that made me look bad. And then I had to come out and be like, Oh, I'm sorry, BYU. I'm sorry. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Get it under control. Seriously. like Y'all made me look like an idiot because I predicted y'all to go 6-6. Six and six. And now I'm right back to thinking y'all are going six and six, or who knows, eight and four is a good season for BYU. I, I don't even know why I, I'm talking about it. Uh, so Oregon probably—I mean—they're already in the top twenty-five still. 
Georgia beating them by 87 points didn't knock them out. I don't think anything could. No. Ole Miss over Georgia Tech. Ole Miss looked good yesterday. Uh, they looked like a great team. Georgia Tech. Oh my gosh. I I got I genuinely feel bad for Sea Dog. Um Georgia's ranked number 1 in the nation, uh, obviously. Uh Georgia Tech may be ranked uh I don't know. How many teams are better than Georgia Tech? Well, all the Power 5 teams probably including unfortunately Vandy and some others um maybe most of the group of 5 teams Bishop Sycamore I mean the list goes on but that if you can't put up a point on Ole Miss's defense I don't really know where you're going to it's bad over there at Georgia Tech y'all got it if you don't get rid of him now uh and of course I'm talking about uh having a brain fart here your coach your head coach, your good old your good old buddy, uh, of course, Jeff Collins. That's his name. Y'all better get rid of him, though. All uh, right, next up, Penn State Auburn got that one right. Of course, I had a feeling Penn State was going to win. I thought it was going to be a little bit of a closer one since it was in Jordan Hare. Uh, I thought Penn State was going to cover because it was a three point spread, but sheesh, they crapped on Auburn, and I, I mean, that's ugly. That's ugly for Auburn. It's a good thing for me because it lines up directly with my predictions of 4 and 8. Uh, depending on whatever happens when they play LSU, which we'll find out that result later on. Uh, but yeah, uh, and Penn State looks good. They look to be the team that I think's going to drop Ohio State this year. I say that every year, but this year I, I mean it. Alright, uh, next up, Northern Illinois... Y'all done lost to Vandy. Uh, so once again, that's the third time in a row now that I've been wrong on a Vandy game because I had them going 0-12 and, and they're sitting comfortably at 3-1 and right now. And of course, I'm not shaking in my boots or anything. No, I mean, who, who would get with Vandy? But again, people are starting to point out the, uh, per se, similarities to... 2016 and if this plays out anything like it did back in 2016 you best bet that I'm not going to be around for that one uh the last thing I need is for us to lose to Vandy to not make a New Year's Six Bowl but I don't know I'm not too I'm not too concerned either way though Vandy now uh three and one and you best bet I'm having to hear from it uh from the Vandy fans about it Colorado, oh, oh, you know what? Georgia Tech, I think, is better than Colorado. They're, at least in Power 5 standards, Colorado is just a horrendous team right now. 0-3 after getting absolutely blown out by Minnesota. After they got blown out by Air Force, who lost this week, remind you. The team that everybody thought was going to be the Group of 5 team to be in the freaking New Year's 6. That turns out they didn't play out as well as everybody thought. Wow, shocker, I know. Uh, Wisconsin and Alabama handled their opponents. Another game I was wrong on, Houston. This is a team, another team that everybody thought was making the New Year's Six. Oh my gosh, they lost to Kansas. And not only that, but Kansas, 3-0. and uh, Both Vandy and Kansas, you know, they were projected to win two, in, like, well, two games this year. And they've already hit the over in week three. That's impressive. I give credit to where it's due. Kansas looks good. Like they look like they they're going to be a genuinely good team this year. Is Mark Jan Mangino back? Is Mark Mangino back? I hope so. It's it's the first time I can say without a a sense of well irony irony irony. I mean, it, I technically did say it right. It's, but anyway, this is the first time I can say this without a sen sense of uh, irony. Kansas is a playoff team, sir. That's all you need to know about that. And Houston is not. Houston's not a New Year's Six Bowl team. Uh, next up, this is another game I got wrong here. LSU and Mississippi State. 
Mississippi State going into Baton Rouge, I knew it was going to be a hostile environment, probably a close game, but I did not expect them to go out and, uh, well, just lay an egg offensively. Uh, no pun intended, per se. But LSU, um, maybe they have it going in the right direction for them. Their coach is still a complete moron, but hey, uh, at least on the bright side, you got yourself a conference win to get you going in the right direction. You're 2-1. and one. Maybe you can put that Florida State game behind you. And the Tennessee game coming up. You might want to put that one behind you too already. Uh, but hey, not a not bad look for LSU. Bowl game back on the table. Seven wins. Maybe more than that. Uh, maybe hope seven wins because that would make my predictions mostly correct. You'd have to pick up another win though since you lost to Florida State. Had you beaten that team and you didn't do that. But hey, st- the season has become salvageable. So take take from that what you will. Uh, Texas Tech, NC State, I did get this one right, but it was a little bit closer than I thought it would be. NC State just doesn't look like the team that I thought they'd be, so which is disappointing, but, I mean, they're 3-0. and Let's we'll see how they look in conference play, so we'll, we'll see how that turns out. Washington and Michigan State, um, I look like a moron right now, because I had Michigan State in my top 10, and, yeah, they, they went out against Washington and died. Uh, like... Whatever you th- whatever you think of when you think of like an ASPCA commercial and you know they talk about the brutality of like uh, what the animals experienced, whatever you can think of there, that is what happened to Michigan State's uh, defense when they went up against Washington. Uh, I I don't understand what what was that about uh because michigan state hyped themselves up all season to be that dominant team uh, d- d- we're, we're tuck coming is what they said uh, tuck going where now where's he where's he coming to where's he coming to another eight and four season uh yeah 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 um i'm gonna talk about this one <laughs> even though i got this one right it's a shocker that i did Florida against South Florida came out a winner. To- went toe to toe. Uh, what a game, huh? Not really. Uh, Florida is done for uh, against Tennessee next week. Uh, I mean, South Florida is not a good group of five team. And not only that, but it was a completely missed snap on a field goal that helped Florida get this win today. Anthony Richardson does not look like he has it together. Just uh, just a horrendous performance offensively on all sides of the uh on on every side of the ball. Just Florida does not look like they have it. Whatever we saw in the Utah game, it's been gone since the Utah game. Uh whatever performance we saw against Kentucky, that's what we're seeing now and hopefully that's the same performance we'll see against Tennessee, but unlikely. Because no matter how bad Florida is, they seem to give their 100, and you, and they're all against the Volunteers. But eh, not too not too concerned. <sighs> Belly day, <night> Pierre. <laughs> Most of these other games I did get right. Texas had a close little scramble against UTSA, but I think they did cover actually because they pulled away. They was 11 point favorites. I mean, I don't do these games by who covers. I do them by just predictions. So, let's see. What else? Maryland over SMU. I'm genuinely shocked I got that one right. Uh, Maryland, I knew. I mean, they were favored, yes. But SMU, I thought, was a pretty good team this year. And, again, they still aren't bad. But, you know. Texas A&M over Miami. This is one that I thought was going to falter, too. Because I had Texas A&M winning. But, No. They they pulled it out, got the W, uh, and that helped me out a lot. Uh, Miami, I don't know what happened to them. Maybe it's just SEC dominance. Maybe it's just you know Texas A and M is back. I don't know. Or maybe it's just the eight and four curse. Maybe they just needed this win to go eight and four because they already have one loss. Almost guaranteed they're picking up two or three more down the road, if not four. But hey, they beat Miami. They beat the Canes. Close shoot, close little matchup there. 17-9, I believe, was the final score. So, uh, yeah, congrats. Con- 
I don't think you deserve a congratulations. Uh, more of a, um, you're a winner. You're a winner. That's right. You're a winner. Uh, and then the last two games I got wrong, uh, both the last two on here. Arizona beat North Dakota State. That's a shocker in my opinion. Now, of course, I knew Arizona was going to be better than what I had them going this season because I thought they were going to be the worst Power 5 team, and then turns out they weren't because they won a game. But no, then not only have they won a game, but they won against the best FCS team in, uh, in college football. So take from that what you will, but in my opinion, Arizona is much better than what I thought they were, and they're likely to be a seven or eight win team amongst all the other bottom feeders that have suddenly risen up this year Syracuse Duke Kansas not Vandy but hey uh, that's still pretty good and you got to enjoy that for what it's worth and then Arizona State and I'm sure Arizona fans are just reveling in success right now because they're, they're a little uh the little friend the little rival uh went up and lost to the big E in eastern Michigan and so, yeah, good times for all if you are a Arizona fan, and good times for all for sure if you're a Tennessee fan because and and if you're and if you're squid tard because forty and ten is not bad, and one hundred and twenty five and thirty five isn't bad either. But I'm gonna have to start getting lucky on a lot more of these games because chances are my record is not going to stay as pristine as it is for a lot longer. Now that some of the teams I think are going to do good are faltering. And some of the teams I think are doing bad are rising. So, for what it's worth, you never know. Uh, will Vandy win an SEC game? That's the question. Uh, big question there. Uh, Missouri. That, that's Missouri does not look good this year. In fact, they just, I mean, they look terrible. They look, they look like they could be the worst SEC team in... I think them and Auburn play, so that's that's going to be a fun one to watch. The Bottom Feeder Bowl. Uh, yeah, you almost bet I'm watching that one. Anyway, that's enough for me. Uh, so there you go. That's the record for the week. Uh, I've got plenty more videos coming up for uh, the Gatters. So expect to hear a little bit more from me out of, for uh, for y'all. Uh, and yeah, and of course my pickums will come out later on. But yeah, until then... I shall see you guys in the next video. And as always, power to Tardaria and go Vols, son. Still undefeated after week three. BPD.